職員室をお探しなら建物が。Welcome back to Classroom of the Elite episode number nine. I had so much fun with it, especially in the beginning part, because there was a scene that I watched over and over and over again. And then I showed my wife and I told my sister about it. And then I showed my friend just a lot of fun. And it actually leads into the quote of the episode, which is Extreme justice is extreme injustice. Does this fit what actually happened? We get back to the classroom. We see Yamauchi is gone. His desk is gone. They didn't even bother pushing up the desk so that they're all in one nice line. This is a tradition that I do. If I lose a character that is not just some random side character, I take a shot for him. And I think good old Yamauchi, he deserves one because in this show, right, expulsion is death. So here's one for you, big guy. Aina, Koji, and Saki and Nagi meet up. The special exam was designed to expel him. On the last two episodes, I thought what was happening was Saki and Nagi was trying to get rid of Aina Koji by using Yamauchi, but that was not actually correct. What she was doing was trying to save Aina Koji by using Class A's positive vote. That way they can have their competition later on. What she really was doing with Yamauchi was just trying to get some revenge for what he did during the training camp. The two get to meet the new acting chairman, Shukishiro, who does not like Saki and Nagi's joke. In this moment, I laugh for two reasons, and that's because Yamauchi was just eliminated because of what he did to her. Even though he did it on accident and he was kind of an idiot about it, he didn't do it on purpose. But this guy just did it on purpose, so obviously he's going to end up on her list, and I can't wait to see how she's going to exact some sort of revenge. This part was interesting to me because we got to see Aina Koji attempt to save Saki and Nagi. We see her laying down. He's pinned up against the wall. I know there are people that had pictures of what the light novel had versus what this had. Again, I haven't read this part of the light novel, so I just take the anime as my reality. He knew he might do something crazy, so he swapped out the security camera footage. He came with a message from his dad. <laughs> The guy must have him in quite the hold because he said, if your answer is yes, blink twice. I think Aina Koji could have gotten out of it, but the security camera is still there and the footage could be used potentially in the future. Now that that's all over, Aina Koji is officially challenging Saki and Nagi in the upcoming exam. I'm going to go through this really fast because there were a lot of rules on this new exam. Basically, it's class versus class. Each class picks 10 subjects. There will be no duplicated subjects. They have to be feasible, can't be anything crazy. The classes will have to come up with rules and there is no draws allowed. On the day of the test, the class is going to have to pick five subjects from what was provided by the other class. In the end, they will be tested on seven subjects which will be randomly selected by the school. You won't be told what the next subject is and each student must participate before you get to cycle through again. If the captains win, they will receive bonus points. If they lose, however, they will be expelled. Before they picked the captain, there was some talk about why Ayana Koji placed first. Sudo really wanted to know because you know what? It's his friend. I thought this part was really nice because it shows how her recta is trying to grow, be somewhat of a leader. This makes sense because he is immune to expulsion because of that last exam. This girl didn't want Ayana Koji to be captain, which made me laugh a little bit because maybe she'll end up on a list someday. There was a drawing between the classes to see which class will face another. So we end up with class D going against class B. We have class A going against class C. This was rigged this way because Aina Koji talked to class D and class B beforehand to make sure this was going to be the outcome. <laughs> this part with Harada is really interesting. I don't know if it's the pressure of being in the school or more that they finally lost the person or he's tired of all these girls following him around. <laughs> <laughs> Kay tried to stand up for May and she was put back in her place. She sat back down in her chair. 
back to the topic on hand, which is trying to figure out what we want to do subject wise. Hibrikta asked everybody to submit a subject they felt confident in. The line that Koenji drops on Hibrikta was so good. Aina Koji asked that Kei come over to his place. You can see she is still a little messed up from what happened earlier in the day. Aina Koji wanted some information from Kei, but he also wanted to give her a birthday present. I don't think Aina Koji has feelings for Kei at this moment, but at the same time, I think he definitely knows what he's doing by giving her a heart necklace. I thought the rules to buying presents was do not tell the person how much it actually costs and also don't tell them where you got the idea for the present. The next day we get a conversation between Aina Koji, Manabu, and Tachibana. I love Tachibana. I hope she never gets eliminated. But the cool part was we get to figure out a little bit more about Suzune. She idolizes her brother. Her ideal self is going to be a female version of him. Manabu wants the best for her. He knows she can surpass him. She just needs to find herself. And the person that's going to help is Ayana Koji. He's been pushing her along all this time, but this is really cool that he said he's going to help her genuinely. Anta. And it took me off guard for a little bit just because is that a question he would normally ask or is he trying to grow? Maybe this is going to be like the kindling of him and Kei. Manabu gave Ayana Koji the blessing to date Suzune, but he knew they probably wouldn't work well together. I love that Tachibana stepped in and said, you're going to trigger a flag or something because this reminds me of an anime that's light going. We have all this crazy stuff happening, people getting expelled, mind games everywhere, that you know what, you can have romance inside of the school, you can have genuine friendships. We get to see all the different subjects that Class A chose, and one of those subjects was chess. The important part about this chess game is there are leader rules. The leader can give instructions to the player at his or her discretion for at most 30 minutes of the allotted 60 minute time. This means this is going to be the battle between Aina Koji and Saki Nagi. In the end, I have no idea how this is going to work out. I remember the conditions for the original competition that they were talking about was Saki Nagi was going to be expelled. If Aina Koji loses, then he's going to be outed as the mastermind. I feel like it's too early to be outed as the mastermind, so Saki Nagi being eliminated feels a little bit inconceivable as well. But hey, Classroom of the Elite, lots of things happen that I don't expect especially Saki and Nagi getting kicked over for a second time. I'll see you next week.